Hola, reyes y reinas, reyes y reinas, high kings and queens. I pray that today I find you well rested, full of excitement, um, full of accepting and surrendering to God's finest favor in your everyday assignments, in your everyday actions, and more than anything that you're basking in God's presence, especially in this time where um, you're going to be filling your home and filling your environment with loved ones. And even if you're not filling your life right now with loved ones, if they've passed, um, I can relate with you. And I just pray that God gives you a super miraculous um, comforting and a peace that surpasses all understanding. Um, and for you not to look back with depression or look back on things you could have done different. But to learn from everything that we have been through and to move forward. Um, accepting um, and not always leaning on our own understanding for what God has coming for us. Or what we've been through or what we're about to encounter. Um, Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you that I die to the flesh. That I speak through the power of your spirit. Thank you for anointing, anointing these lips that I speak selflessly, never selfishly. Thank you for your favor, wisdom, stature, much knowledge and revelation in the name of Jesus. I'm going to start because the battery is low. Sorry, I had an interruption because my battery is low, so I'm going to have to keep it moving. Today we are reading from Luke 18, 16 through 20, and I thank you, Father, for your word. I'm going to begin... Jesus, however, invited them, let the little children come to me and don't stop them because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I assure you, whoever does not welcome the. Whoever does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Mm. A ruler asked him, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him, no one is good but the one God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. That means don't be lying. Don't be capping. Honor your father and your mother. And that's where it ends for today's devotional. It's very, very good. Um, basically, God knew we were going to make mistakes. He knew we were going to do things. He knew that... Um, <laughs> We weren't always going to be living with um, the way he called us to, but he tried to keep it pretty simple, which is do not commit adultery. Do not cheat on your spouse uh, if you're married. Do not murder. Don't be the giver or the taker of life. That is God's job. And do not steal. Do not take what does not belong to you. Um, and another one is to honor your mother and your father. And I will tell you that many of us um especially in the Mex mexican culture hispanic culture you know i used to always battle with lord how do i honor my parents if my parents have told me to do things that i know don't honor god and many of you could be there or maybe it's just me but that's where it brought me closer to god to where like i i needed to know how my father in heaven wanted me to live and how he called me to honor your parents and honoring your parents is respecting them when they may need things, you're there for them. It doesn't mean to enable them or continue um, enabling toxic relationships. That's a whole other devotion that I'm not even going to get into right now. But what my grandmother wrote was, we need to... We need to be like little children to enter the kingdom. What is it being like little children? It's having great faith. Children, if you tell them you're going to take them somewhere, they're pretty much going to trust you. And they might continue asking you because they need to be reminded or they need to com confirm like well, this is going to happen. <laughs> um, and another thing is children, um, seriously, like if you do them wrong, they could just forgive you and love on you like nothing ever happened. And I believe that's how God wants us to live with excitement, with joy, with that great forgiveness where... We forget what they did. That's what kids do, right? I mean, you can like spank them, discipline them. And some of them, not all, <laughs> they could like just wake up the next day and not remember it. Love on you like, you know, nothing happened. And again, there's some other kids that they're not. That's a whole nother video. Because children are not proud. There you go. Praise God. Thank you, Grandma. So let's humble ourselves and be like children. Let's love greatly. Let's live greatly. Let's have faith great faith let's um not be proud let's not be selfish i know kids as well could be selfish they don't want to share um and sometimes that could be like me maybe that's just me maybe that's no one else pray for me and her prayer is lord please forgive if we have been proud yes proud i will tell you i i come from a family of proud people and yes you could be proud of like your your family your career whatever but there's a different side side of proudness that is 
where you've been hurt and you don't want to allow yourself to be vulnerable. So therefore, if someone hurts you, you don't even want to share with them because you're like, nah, that it didn't bother me. I'm not bothered. However, you're greatly bothered because you go to sleep and you're probably thinking about it, especially as you're going to go gather with family and friends. It's important that you communicate effectively on things that may bother you because if you just sweep it under the rug, eventually that rug's going to be so high that it might be like a chair. That's another video. Her, the rest of her prayer is help me to be hum help me to humble myself. Your will, hold on, bring it back. Help me to humble ourselves. You will lift us. Humbling ourselves, we don't have to. We don't have to lift ourselves. God will lift us. Um, that was in the scripture yesterday, which is you know to be humbled. So therefore, like you'll be exalted in due time. Don't exalt yourself. And her application is to be like a child, live like a child, have faith like a child, um, love like children. So in Jesus' name, I pray you're blessed. And I pray that this word blessed you. It did bless me. It reminds me that, you know, I'm not where I once was. I, I, I'm glad that I'm not where I once was. I'm not where I want to be. But I'm glad that I'm not as proud as I used to be. But I still have some of it. But the more that you surrender to God is where you will be more like God. So in Jesus' name, be blessed. Today, I am wearing the Esme Lash. I've been feeling it lately because I've been just whipping on makeup and... When I wear the Esme Lash, it, it kind of gives me like a lot of drama without a lot of makeup, if that makes sense. So, God bless y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I pray that y'all are um, just being festive and excited. And for your family members that are not here, whatever it is that they brought to the table or they brought to your family events, you know, foods, their, their personality, their characteristics, you be that. You be that and be you and that. Like my grandmother, I miss, you know, she was always laughing. She was always like just so joyous and i miss her i miss her i don't have regrets um maybe sometimes i do when i dwell on stuff but then the lord comes and rescues me but i would tell you that be everything that whoever it is that you miss be them let them live through you and if you're sad about it i'm praying that the lord gives you a miraculous comfort and love that surpasses any understanding that you can have and that you recognize that you're alive today and um if your heart is beating, you're alive. And people are praying for people like you to show up at their house. Lord knows I was praying. When we bought our house, I prayed. I said, Lord, bring bring the people that you want in our home because our home is a church. And remember that you are a church. So wherever it is that you go, be Christ-like. <laughs> Do godly deeds. So in Jesus' name, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I pray that you all have much prosperity, peace, protection, especially as you're out on the road with traffic. I rebuke and bind any road rage, any anger, any bitterness. Don't let anybody... Oh, my jacket's squeaking. Don't let anybody... Do something to you that makes you forget that you're a child of the most high and that you're a queen or a king. Don't be out there uh, behaving out of character because of road rage or the longs, the lines being long. And just name me the best. Bye. God bless.